We got Alan, the caretaker of Uptake. The legend Alan, the take care of a train, good new scooter. Good new scooter trainer right here, Alan. With Simon on the jog cart, Simon Lart. We got a sports rider here. Uh, he was uh, Harrisburg purchases. My dad actually picked that one out of the sale, and him and Elvis, Mikael Gutegon, you know, Lapel Elvis. Um, so Simon be going with the sports rider. Hot take. Here we got Jeff Jornay with Lynn Malno and Jordan McKay. So first full out of shadow play. Uh, first full out of them is a shadow play. And um, he was bought at Lexington from Winback Farm. I'm going to be going with Better's Account. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this horse. He was the horse that was picked in the draw that we have when we give away share on a yearling. And I'm sure we got somebody watching this. Uh, hey, Rick. What's his name, Enric? Dan, Dave Enrickson, the lucky winner of uh, sharing a yearling betters account. He's a broader to world record older at Pocono, big town hero that we also train. So I'm going to be going with him. As we go, we're getting with the ones that are a little bit more advanced. Uh, we, um, and this set, I'll start by uh, Talking about the one uh, Jordan had, the Shadow Play Coat. He's a first full out of the dam. Uh, he was purchased as Lexington. He, um, it's one of them at first. He was really, really like aggressive as far as not on the track, but uh, around the barn, you know, striking and biting. And he was a bit of a handful. And then, then he start to wants to breed the other horses on the track, try to jump on other people. So. We had to castrate him early, uh, I think 10 days after we broke him, we already got him castrated. And it's ever since, he came to be a nice, sweet little horse. And really, there's never been anything wrong with this little guy, everything he does. And uh, if anything, sometimes he's one of them that, you know, whatever you ask him, he'll do. But he's not going to do more than he needs to do. And I think a lot of good horses are like that. They, You know what I mean? They don't really overwork himself but he's uh you know everything you throw at him he just he just does it and he's been perfect from the get-go he doesn't wear a boot he's good gated and you know he's uh he's two finger so no he's doing re really well and uh, we staked him in the bottle of waterloo and ontario sire and a couple other them uh races now uh this coat everything is under control i had um Better's account, which uh, Better's account was the horse that uh, we did the contest that we gave the share away that uh, they, they had to pick between a couple of share and they picked this one. Uh, and I don't know, maybe they'll be lucky because uh, maybe they'll bring us some luck to the team because this colt is doing some real nice things right now. I mean, he was one when I went to the farm, I looked at him in the field, I went back. He wasn't really like flashy. He doesn't have the prettiest head on him. He's a big coat. He was still growing. You know, he's been a bit of a process. Uh, at first, he was his attitude wasn't the greatest, and he's kind of funky gated up and down up front, a little bit weak behind. But uh, it just seems like he he worked through all this, and now he's getting stronger. And the day that we were gonna castrate him because. You know, he had a bad attitude, and I said, you know, we're just going to castrate him. And the day that we was going to, the vet was lined up to do him, we trained him, and he was the best he's ever been. So I don't know if he felt it, or he knew it was coming. He didn't want to, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want, he didn't want to lose his balls, but he, uh, he, he trained really good. And ever since that day, it was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I don't know if it triggered something in him, but he's been perfect. So, uh, <laughs> 
now when you move him you ask him he wants to get out of his skin like he just he just jumps up when you ask him it just seems like he's uh, he's figured it out so you know they're all babies some of them take him a little longer to figure it out than others so I'd say out of all the babies he's probably the one the one that went uh, from the from C to uh, B plus in like a hurry so he's uh He's doing some nice things, and obviously, the, when uh, when we bought him at the sale, we had behind our mind, you know, we we had Big Tony, he rode to win the Gold Cup in Saucer for us, and you know, he set the world record for gilding at Pocono 47, and he's give us some great thrill. He's won the Earth Memorial Race uh, in Scioto, beat Sweet Lou that day, and fold again 48, and he's done some. Some great things for us. So that was, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say, uh, you know, if he was a different pedigree, when I looked at him, he didn't really look at anything flashy. I probably went out of bottom. I say I bought the page more than the horse and this individual. But, you know, now I'm kind of happy I got him. He seems like he's uh, really coming along. And the third one we had in this set um, was a... Uh, Sports rider coat that Simon had. My dad picked up the sale. He was there and he liked that coat, so uh, he owns part of him. And uh, Michael Cote uh, owns a part of him with him. They're bought him together. He's a big growing coat. He's a mayfoil. He's uh, a little bit choppy going up front, up and down. And he was hitting the ground a little bit hard. So uh, we. Uh, we tried to put flip-flops on him today for the first time, and it was a little bit rolly. It was a little bit searching for, you know, his hobbles and getting a little steppy up front. So I don't know if that's going to work for him. You can see Simon, when he hit the last stretch with him, when he grabbed onto him, he got a little bit rolly and made a little step. But after that, he was he was pretty good. He's, he's got lots to go. Speed's not an issue. He's actually the faster you go, the better he is. But once you grab him on, he gets a little bit doubled up. But he's got some uh, he's got some ability. He's trained with the hay set and goes with them and hasn't been an issue. So that was uh, them three, and we're going to go with the, the last set here we got. So out of the 16 yearlings that we purchased, we're going with 13 right now. There's one that we gave a week off and a couple of them that we gave a couple weeks off that are going to be back in the 1st of March, uh, beginning of March. So we'll keep you updated.